A community is a place where people live, work, and play. While every community is a little bit different, there are some things that are important for all communities to have if they're going to grow, be healthy, and change with time. Today, we're going to look at a person and place that helped make a difference within Alexandria. When you think of education, you probably think of schools. However, libraries are also very important places for people to learn and grow. In the 1930s, Alexandria had a library that only the white community could use. African Americans could not visit the Alexandria Library to learn new things or check out books. Let me introduce you to Samuel Tucker. Samuel Tucker was an African American born June 18, 1913 in Alexandria, Virginia. Mr. Tucker became a lawyer to help African Americans challenge and change the segregation laws. Less than 60 years ago, Alexandria was a segregated city. The laws of segregation did not allow African Americans and white people to visit the same places together, including libraries, movie theaters, and schools. The Barrett Branch Library was the first public library in Alexandria. It opened in 1937 and African American people could not use this library. African Americans had to travel across the river to DC to visit a library. This was a planned trip that took most of the day. At this time, using public transportation was difficult for African Americans due to the segregation laws. Mr. Tucker attended elementary and middle school in Alexandria. However, Alexandria did not have a high school for African Americans to attend. Mr. Tucker traveled across the river to Washington, D.C. to attend Armstrong High School. Mr. Tucker did very well in school, graduating from high school and Howard University. He continued his education, studying to become a lawyer. He was frustrated and decided to challenge and change the segregation laws. Mr. Tucker knew other men within the community who wanted everyone to visit and study at the Barrett Library. He asked these young men to help with his plan, a peaceful demonstration to challenge segregation laws within Alexandria. Their plan included asking the library staff for a library card, reading inside the library, and being friendly to the library staff. The group decided Mr. Tucker would not visit the library because he would defend and help legally if arrested. On August 21st, 1939, the young men visit the Barrett Branch Library to get a library card, but was denied. These young men were nice and caused no problems to the library staff or library visitors. The police were called on the young men for sitting peacefully inside the library. They were charged with disorderly conduct. Mr. Tucker, as their lawyer, planned to argue in court for integration, where both African Americans and white people use the same public spaces like libraries. 80 years later, the charges were finally dropped against the young men in 2019. The city, however, came to deal with the community outside the courtroom. Instead of integrating, the city opened a library named Robert Robertson Library. This library was for African Americans only. While the city called it separate but equal, this space was not equal. In 1940, Mr. Tucker wrote a letter to the librarian of the white only Barrett Branch Library. He refused to accept a new library card at the new Black Branch Library. As time passed, the Barrett Branch Library did allow African Americans to visit starting in the 1960s, but the Robert Robertson Library closed in 1959. Mr. Tucker continued working to help African Americans in Virginia. As time passed, he lived to see African Americans have better learning, legal, and educational opportunities. Mr. Tucker died October 19, 1990. The building that was once the Robert Robertson Library is now a part of the Alexandria Black History Museum. The Watson Reading Room is welcoming to everyone in the community. 
Researchers and students come to study African-American history and families attend story time featuring African-American stories and authors. The Alexandria Public Library now has four public libraries and two specialty libraries open to all. They build community by creating space for people to learn, explore, create, and connect. Thank you for joining me today to learn about Samuel Tucker and the Barrett Branch Library. Join me next time as we continue to learn about Alexandria as a community and African-Americans who made a difference.